I had kind of a busy day today. It was payday, so my filters were a mess because I've been through several brush fires. So I redid the pad and I redid the two filters, got the new ultra allergen filters from Holmes. But I did this filter. Now I want to show you what I did to this filter. This front part. This thing is like oh, about two, three pounds heavier because I put about two and a half pounds of activated charcoal between this filter layer and this filter layer. Um, as you can see, what I do, I'm not usually happy with your standard Holmes air filter. So I take a 3M Filtrets 1200 series, and that's got activated charcoal on it. But this activated charcoal lasts for about a month, and then it doesn't really work that well. So I wanted to put a lot more activated charcoal in there. Well, I've always tried to avoid this step because it's a mess. Uh, I'll show you in a second. Let's go to the bathroom and I'll show you. Okay, so. That's what's between the two media pads. And I had sealed the two media pads so well that this doesn't get through. But I had to, I had to wash all this. See, there's no, you see, see how nice this looks? No fine dust anywhere, just none. I, I had soaked these in three stages of washes and then dried it. This is the last one. I'm gonna use this on the other filter. This is about a pound of, um, this is a pound of activated charcoal. And it's just, wow, you know. You can even see the back of my hands. They're still kind of black from doing this. Um, so this is the stuff right here. It's aquarium active charcoal. But if you clean it out real nice, real nice, meaning I threw water in here, dumped it, washed it out, threw it on here, filled the sink with water, this whole thing was just black, black charcoal. You wouldn't know it now because I cleaned it. Then you scoop all of that out, throw it in another tub here, rinse it out, clean out one of these, and then put it back in, and then dump them on a, you dump them on a, on a, a thick set of paper towels. That's like eight paper towels right there. Then what you do is you carry that, you put them in a flat place, like let's say the inside of your bathtub. So I had this all lined up with like, there were like four or five of those pads in the bathtub, and boom. You just let them dry out, and then you got to take the one side of the of the filter, face a uh, facing front, and then you and then what you do is you fill it with charcoal, and then you tape the inside of it like so that the two sides, um, so that they um, they seal each other in. Then you seal the whole. It's basically like if you ever go to a uh, aquarium store where you'll see one of those little media pads things. Well, basically that's what you're doing, only you're doing it with an air filter. So you seal it all up, you run into your air cleaner for about half an hour and make sure there's no dust going through it or anything because you don't want for your expensive HEPA filters. I paid like $33 for the two HEPA filters to replace them. And yeah, and, and then you put it all together and there it is. I took my HEPAs out, I had, a, I had th three stages. I had the filtrate, I had a whole one inch thick um, activated charcoal filter, which is why I want to go with something a little more robust because the homemade stuff is better, okay? And I had just your normal help of filters that came with that with that one. Well, I upgraded to a um, filter that lasts, they say lasts 12 months rather than four. It'll probably last more like six, but nonetheless, it is a better quality HEPA filter. Um, and I put two of them in there, okay? And then this behind it. So this is gonna be like really cool. This is gonna catch like every view you see in my room. I mean, every little bit of crazy glue, everything is gonna go into that charcoal. So it's I mean, I'm going in there right now, and it's like wow, man. You feel like the air is like three pounds lighter when you walk in. You feel lighter. You feel better. You just, the air feels better. It, it, it is. And I guess, I guess you guys know how serious of a, of, a, of a nut I am for clean air in my room. I run an electrostatic filter that pretty much takes everything a HEPA won't catch and catches it. But you still need a filter for like VOCs and carbon and stuff like that. I mean, if you really live in a smoggy, dirty place like LA, you need a lot of stuff. So, until next time, this is Chris Cartea. You know, air cleaner, maniac, audiophile, nerf god, 
um, and probably many other titles to come. I, I mean, for years I've dreamed of being an eccentric millionaire, and I am halfway there. Peace out.